Welcome to Slaying Excel Dragons video number 42. Hey, these are the videos that accompany the book. We are still in chapter 3 talking about pivot tables and we have an exciting topic here. We got to talk about the new slicers that came out in Excel 2010 and then report filter and the amazing show report filter pages. These two things have been around for a long time where we can create five or more reports instantly with a single click. Great video for pivot tables here. Let's go over to our Excel workbook. We're on the in the Excel is fun start file. You can download it by clicking on the link below the video or get it from the DVD. Now we're going to start on PT5. I've already made a pivot table here from the data on this sheet. Here's our pivot table exactly like the one we created in earlier videos. But now Let's go ahead and click inside here to show our field list. Right now we are adding with two criteria. Midwest, Franks, the two criteria to determine adding. And that of course adding is determined by the function we selected. Now I want to add a third criteria. But we have one criteria in column and one in row. And now we want to add one to the report filter. All I got to do is click and drag. Now look what it did instantly up here it adds a third criteria but notice our pivot table has not changed at all the calculations it's still calculating Frank's Midwest the two criteria in here however we can go to this drop down this is called the report filter and it's I like the name because it filters the whole report as soon as I click and maybe unselect all and select Bellin. Now we've added a third criteria. So I'm going to click OK and now the pivot table changes. All right, so in this cell, three criteria used to add Midwest. So these are all the sales in the Midwest by Franks selling the Bellin product. All right, three criteria. Now what's so cool about this is you can just print this out, Control P, and then come down, select the next one click OK, select the next one, click OK each time printing. Or you just do your analysis, right? You're in a meeting and you're just showing, hey, here's all the quads, whatever product you select up here. Now before you print, probably want to do some page setup, but I'm going to wait on the page setup and do it after we create our five reports. All right, now look down here, PT5, and then the next sheet to the left is Visualize. When I click this button, Show uh, report pages. It's instantly going to add five new sheets here and each sheet will be named the product name. Before we do this you want to make sure that we come up here and whatever items you have checked are the are determine how many sheets and how many reports will be created. I'm going to select all. I'm going to click OK. Now we have our report. I'm going to go up to pivot table tools options and over here to pivot table group and under options there it is show report filter pages in earlier versions I think it was uh, show pages that's I think that's what the, the drop down and it was on the little floating toolbar pivot table toolbar but watch this I'm gonna click this and here it is this uh, dialog box that says uh, show all report filter pages of product we have all so as soon as I click OK here, bloop, these are going to be created. And then click OK, bloop, and there we have it. Five instantaneous reports. It's just totally amazing. Now I want to do some page setup. And earlier in this book we did page setup, but we only did one sheet. Now I want to highlight all five sheets. So I'm going to, just like we did earlier in the class, we select one cell and hold Shift. And before we click on, well, we hold shift and when we click on the the last item it highlights everything in between we saw this in the sheets we saw this with 3d cell references we're gonna do it in this video for page setup so I click on the first sheet hold shift click on the last sheet they're instantly all highlighted now this can be dangerous because if I start doing stuff here it does it to all the sheets so I'm gonna do my page setup and then I'm gonna unselect them alright now I'm going to uh, page layout and that or as we saw earlier in the class the keyboard shortcut is alt PSP I'm gonna say landscape I'm gonna say a hundred or no I'm gonna say like a uh, hundred and seventy
scaling up. I'm going to go margins, horizontal. Go to header and footer. Now, in this case, and earlier in the class we saw this great built-in footer here, page one of question mark. This is going to come in handy here because we have five sheets. So each one will print out one of five, two of five, three of five. And we'll see how to print out multiple sheets also. So that footer will come in handy. Let's do a custom header. I'm going to say date, time, and I'm going to type my name, your name. Unlike in earlier video when we did page setup, we're going to do a little formatting to this text. We didn't use this button, but let's use it now. And then I'm just going to select whatever formatting I want. Click OK. Click OK on the header. Click OK on the page setup. Now, Control P. I want to uh, notice that it says Print Active Sheets. I want to notice over here it says one of five. Notice my nice page setup. I'm going to go forward. That is just amazing. Just amazing. I can't believe that we can create five reports basically with just a few clicks. All right, now I'm going to click Escape. Be sure once you print your report, you come over and you unselect. I'm going to either right click ungroup or you click on a sheet that's not in the highlighted sheet. So I'm going to click right there. All right, now I'm going to PT5. Notice we did a filter here. This is called a report filter. Now, it's not exactly very polite. If I uncheck this and have two items, look what it says up there, multiple items. And it's not really user friendly. So there's something called a slicer. And a slicer is just a fancy report filter. So I'm going to go over to the sheet. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay on this sheet, PT5, uh, multiple items. Now, I'm going to click inside of here, and I'm going to uncheck this. Now, watch this. Instead of doing it this way, we can simply go up to Options and Insert Slicer. So we're going to look at uh, Insert Slicer. And the very first one, oh, the field list, just like over here, so you can put slicers for anything. We're just going to do just like we did a moment ago. I'm going to select product and then click OK. Wow, look at that. So off to the side, we have our report filter. But isn't it polite? It's color coded. I'm just going to click on the Bellin. And now I have Bellin instantly filtered. Carlota instantly filtered. Watch this. What if I want Carlota Quad and Sunset? I'm going to highlight the first one, hold Shift, and click on the last one. Instantly all three. Now, what if I want ones that are not next to each other? Click on the first one, and I want Sunshine, so I'm going to hold Control. Now, remember, those are the same keyboard shortcuts or uh, tricks we learned. Cell, Shift, click, everything in between. Cell, Control, click, items not next to each other. All right, and then we can clear the filter. Absolutely awesome. Look at that, Carlota. So nice, so easy. Now, let's add a few more slicers. You can add, build your whole table filled with slicers. I'm going to go, hey, what happened <laughs> to my ribbons? I'm going to click inside the uh, pivot table. These context-sensitive ribbons pop up. Options. I'm going to go Insert Slicer. And I have one for Sales Rep, so I'm going to click Sales Rep. And I want one for Region, so I'm going to click Region and then click OK. Now I can arrange these. By the way, you can click on the edge here and click and drag. Click and drag up. Or how, whatever size you want. I'm going to make these a little bit smaller and try and fit them. All right, I'm going to put one. Scroll down. Let's get the bottom one right to there. Drag up. All right, now, notice when we have a slicer selected. Oh, there's a nice lavender color rib, context sensitive ribbon. I'm going to go to options. Oh, look at that. I'm going to click red for that one. Click on this one. Blue is fine. Uh, mix red and blue together, and what do we get? A purple. All right, now let's go ahead and play around with our beautiful creation here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, clear the filter like this. And so that's the whole table. Oh, I can see I'm, I want to come down a little bit. Everything's showing. 
But what happens if I click on this, which means I want to exclude everything and just see sunset? Right off the bat, notice that there's a chin here. I'm going to click sunset. Oh, what happened to chin? means there weren't any matches, right? So Chin did not sell any Sunset Boomerangs. Another way to tell is if you have it grayed out like that. That means Chin didn't sell any. Watch this. If I click on Chin right now, what I'm saying is in all these regions and Sunset, there were no sales. So Chin had no sales for Sunset. Notice we get our result. In essence, what we're doing is a query. Anytime you have some criteria and you ask the question, you know, make some calculation, when you get a zero result, it either means there were no results, right? Chin had no sales, or you did something wrong with your criteria. Here, we didn't do anything wrong with our criteria. So I'm going to unfilter this because sunset is filtered, and there we have it. Now, Chin, look at when I do that. Chin, I have it filtered here with Chin all of the regions and over here I can see boom those two uh, chin did not sell any sunsets or sunshines. Alright now I'm going to unfilter so you can kind of have fun with your filter east there it is so in the east uh, there's our results. Alright slicers uh, just amazing report filters totally amazing what we can do. Now in our next uh, video, couple of videos about pivot tables, we'll see some specific uses of pivot tables like uh, frequency distributions um, and a few others. Alright, we'll see you next video.